And first of all, I'd like to know how are you working on the mindset of Roy Jones Jr. And is it all about pride or is it there something else about this match against Tyson? Well, I mean, he, he's, um, you know, a legend in the game and Mike's a legend. Yeah. So this is a big, uh, big fight for them, for their, you know, for their legacy. And, um, you know, they both have a lot of pride and a lot of ego, um, big self-esteem. Of course, they've accomplished so much in the sport, two of the greatest to ever do it. So, I mean, there's definitely a lot of that in the fight for sure. Um, but, you know, we're taking it as a fight. So we're working on, you know, the things that we need to, to do to be able to uh, capitalize on Mike Tyson's, uh, you know, weaknesses and nullify his strengths. So, you know, watching a lot of film of Mike Tyson and seeing what it has been the things that have given him trouble. And then also watching Roy's fights and seeing what he does very well in all of his fights and in, in the past, his, his past fights that those, you know, the things that he's done in the past that'll give, that would give Mike trouble in a fight. So kind of watching the things that Roy does very, very well. And also watching the things that yeah. Ison does well, but also the things that have given him trouble and trying to put the pieces together on, you know, uh, the right and proper game plan for what's going to work in the fight. Yeah. In fact, um, Tyson I, has the ability to shorten distance, cut the angles, and hit with very powerful hooks and uppercuts. And do you think it will be a problem for Roy's style? Um, well, I mean, Roy's, Roy's the matador in this fight, you know, if you will. And, and Tyson's the bull, you know, <laughs> but like T Tyson is, um, you know, is a, is a very, like you said, a very powerful puncher, but a lot of people don't talk about how, you know, Roy's a, got a lot of knockouts. He has actually more knockouts in his career, of course, against lighter guys, you know, but, uh, you know, Roy's a puncher too, you know, even at heavyweight, mm -hmm. He's, you know, when he fought John Ruiz, I mean, John Ruiz had respect for his punches. He hurt John Ruiz in that fight uh, when he did have fight for the heavyweight title. Sure. Uh, he stunned him. So, you know, Mike's not fighting a, a matador that, you know, just has a cape. He's got dynamite in his hands. You know what I mean? He can knock you out. Yeah. So uh, he's got to respect his power. And, um, you know. Um, Roy is also very fast. He's very uh, lightning fast. hand hands. Right. And he's got the better, and he's got the better, you know, Tyson has pretty good feet for a big guy. Yeah. But I don't think it to a guy like Roy Jones, who's fought at the middleweight division, super middleweight, light heavyweight. You know, the lighter guys have uh, always had better footwork than the heavyweights. Just, yeah. uh, you know, better athletes, if you will. They're not bigger bigger athletes but they're they're they have been uh you know the the lighter guys have always been noted for noted for and uh for be noted for better skill and better and better athleticism than the bigger guys the bigger guys are just more bigger and, and more powerful i mean there's also some really good heavyweights that have showed you know great skill and talent saying that but the lighter guys are uh predominantly more athletic than the heavyweight. So, you know, his athleticism in this fight is, is a big, uh, is big for Roy because uh, I believe he's, I mean, he's the better athlete. I mean, he, yeah. he, he played, he played professional basketball and, and, and in the morning and then at night, you know, had a professional boxing match on HBO and, and uh, Mike Tyson is not the all around athlete. <laughs> yes, sure. Roy Jones is so that part will take a will take uh you know will be a factor in the fight um just being the overall better athlete with the better footwork um you know Mike for a big guy we know he does have good footwork and he does yeah. not a cut not a cut off angles and stuff like that um but uh 
you know, he, he's not, he's not going to be easy to out about that. I mean, he's just, just, and he's always got one, a one punch power that could, that could knock you out. So, uh, I mean, by no means we underestimate Mike Tyson, but, sure. um, Sometimes I feel like, you know, the public has underestimated Roy Jones. Uh, and what type of fight are you expecting from Tyson? Um, do you think he's going to settle the score immediately? Or will he be more cautious, more patient? Well, I don't think he really has shown in the past that uh, that he that he really has any more than one one gear one gear i mean he's coming to get you you know i mean he's always shown in every fight that he ever had really that he yeah. you know he's not going to be too cocky you know he has a lot of belief in his power he's got a lot of belief in his uh his his chin to be able to take shots um so if he has to take a shot but i mean he's always shown that he's got pretty good defense Uh, I think early on in his career, he showed he had really, really good defense, but I think his defense kind of declined as his career went on. I'm sure that they're working on that to try to revitalize that. And uh, I expect him to come in and be as, uh, as good as he could possibly be with defensively. Uh, I just think that he will come full steam. I don't think he's going to, I don't think he's going to be cautious. You know, I think he, he probably figures that he's been hit by, harder guys than Roy Jones. So he's probably, uh, but you know, it's the punch you don't see that really knocks you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bigger and stronger guys and bigger, heavier hitters and things like that. But um, get hit punches with, pun when you get hit with punches, you don't see, you know, those are the ones that, you know, it, even if they don't knock you out, they really hurt you to the point where yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to stop because if you don't, if you keep coming, you will get knocked out. You know, and, and Roy's got that kind of power where he can really, um, even at an older age and, and sparring, he's uh, sparring for this fight. And he's hurt, he's hurt the sparring partners. He's hurt heavyweights. Um, there's no one that comes in reckless on him. And um, yeah, they try, but they get hit with punches that really, really, uh, you know, can, uh, you know, and they've he hurt, he hurt these guys, you know, so. We, well, we know know that he has the ability. Uh, we I know that Roy has the ability. He knows that that uh, he has the ability to hurt Mike Tyson. Uh, Mike Tyson and Reckless. Yeah, we are talking about Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's so, still Roy Jones Jr. Right, a legendary so, fighter. Yeah, so, I mean, both, both guys can hurt each other. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, on paper, Mike's the bigger puncher, and I'm sure you know. Maybe he is the bigger puncher. He's the bigger. I mean, yeah, he's shown probably as far as heavyweight division that he is the better puncher. He's a bigger puncher. He's had more knockouts. So you know, we uh, we we under you know understand that you know we're not there to just bang with him and prove that we're more powerful. But uh, definitely got power. Roy's got the power that you know Mike gets reckless or careless. You know he could. Definitely run into a shot and uh, and hurt him. What are your feelings about this fight? Are you approaching it like a normal fight or uh, in a special way? Well, yeah, I mean, we, we approach it like a real fight because I mean, they they said that uh, there's going to be judges at the fight. Sure, sure, sure. You know, so, I mean, How do you not approach it as a real fight? I mean, you're gonna have two guys that are legends. I mean, what are they both gonna do? Mutually try not to to win? You know, what I mean, they're both gonna try to not win. Of course, they're both for sure. I mean, you, like I said, you you um, people wanted to see this a long time ago when those guys were more in their prime. Sure. And happen for whatever reasons at the time. Um, so you know, we're training and. Uh, Like I said, we're we're preparing for it. I mean, they're they're going to fight eight eight two minute rounds before yeah. it was eight threes. Now it's eight twos, uh, which is less of it uh, the time. Twenty four minute fight. Now it's a sixteen minute fight. Sure. As a one more minute, uh, you know, a minute rest after every two minutes. The one one less minute of fighting, one more minute of rest. You know, after two minutes. So, um, 
it's a little different. Pace is going to be a little different because of that. Um, 10, uh, 12 ounce gloves instead of 10 ounce gloves. Uh, but other than that, I mean, as far as the mindset, the mindset of, 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 of preparing and we're preparing for it as, as it's a real fight. And it's, it's definitely something that's important to Roy. It's important to me. And I know it's important to them, uh, Mike and his team as well. So the fact we, it seems that Roy is really prepared. Yeah. Physically is really skinny prepared for the fight. Tyson's two, sure. there seems to be really athletes prepared prepared for the for the fights. Yeah, for to sure. Have a, to have a real war in the ring. Yep, yeah. I, I I expect. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I expect fireworks in the fight. I don't think it's and, gonna and, be. And I hope I I hope it. Yeah, I hope it. Yeah, I mean, I think people want to be a good entertaining bout. Um, and I think I think they will. I think they will. I mean, both guys are coming with that mentality. I mean, I know that I know. I mean, we're not preparing for anything less from Mike because, like I said, he's he's uh, done an exhibition before and he, and he knocked down. He did with Corey Sanders, and that yeah. was with head. That was with headgear, and he knocked him down like in the first early in the first round. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah that he's uh you know he, he's like really got only one mentality and one gear so we don't really expect anything less from him and um you know roy has, roy has a ton of pride and, and uh great great one of, you know two of the all-time greats i mean yeah 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 greats i mean they're on i i love roy's pride i love yeah it. <laughs> they're on they're on that you know, that Mount Rush, Rushmore, that Mount Rushmore, you know, level where, you know, I mean, they're in a lot of people's top 10 heavy, uh, top 10 fighters of all time. You know? Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, they're just uh, arguably two of the greatest fighters ever, you know. Um, I mean, Roy's got claims to being the greatest fighter ever because, I mean, he's done – He's done something that no one has ever done. I mean, he's went from a, he started his career at 154 pounds and won all the way up to heavyweight, which has yeah. never been anyone. So I mean, he's and, he's got the greatest fighter ever that has accomplished that. 